Uh, Reality just released hand tracking as a limited edition feature um, for their A rank members. So we are going to be doing a full test run of <laughs> the hand tracking and we'll compare it to the hand tracking that we received last year for April Fool's Day. All right. So that is what's going to be going on. We will be starting the stream. <laughs> And so, uh, fun fact, I do talk with my hands, like IRL, and so it is very interesting to see. <laughs> I will say I don't have to stand as far away as I did last year, but I am going to try to put my phone in the regular setup, in the regular position with me in my chair, and see how that all goes, because last year with the hand tracking, I had to be about three feet away from my phone for it to really pick up. And I also had to be at a higher angle. I will say it is currently on my desk in its phone stand. So that already, again, is an improvement from where it was last year. OK, so let's take a seat. Um, so we are sitting down. This is the regular angle that I do stream at. Um, and I right now my my hand is above my head. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right, my hand is above my head. So I do think. Oh, there's my other hand. Okay, so we now have two hands. Boop boop boop. Um, I will do the full macarena at some point because that is what I did do in the test last year. I did do a full macarena. So I will see how that tracking goes. Now, I am, again, talking with my hands at my desk, but my hands are about the same level as my desk right now. So they're not very visible to the camera. So I do feel like I have to have my hand almost exactly where it is on the model for it to show up. And if I go anything lower than my like waist, which would be about where my desk is, my desk is about my waist area, you know, my mid waist to chest area that the camera just isn't picking up. Now we are going to up the angle a little bit and see if that helps. We're gonna basically take us almost to the full um, 180, have it be fully perpendicular to my desk and see if that does help. So let me lock that in. All right. So we are a little bit higher up. Um, the tracking does go a little bit further down. So that is good. I do notice that there is some delay when I'm trying to do two hands instead of one hand. The one hand is definitely way more fluid. Um, and the flip the flip of my hand is so much better than it was last year. Last year with it, you were kind of stuck with your hands one way. Like it didn't matter if you did flip your hand. <laughs> the delay was just so bad that you were constantly doing one. So again, um, bump, 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 ba -da -da -da. <laughs> oh, so, so right there on the double hand flip of the Macarena, right? So I also though have my hand way closer to the camera and that might be playing a role in the full extension. Yeah, there we go. Bam. Bam. Okay. Hey, Macarena. All right, so even though that wasn't like the most fluid <laughs> It wasn't the most fluid Macarena ever. It's still way better than last year. Because when I did the film last year with it, um, it took so much more. I did have to back up, right? I did have to back up um, a little bit from my desk. So I am a little bit further away. But I still would be able to game. I'd still be able to, you know, move my mouse, um run my switch, run my whole setup with OBS. So that I think is really, really good. Now I, we are going to be flipping it onto live because I want to see if I'm able to read the comments or if I have to bring out another device and run it dual. Now I don't think I'm going to need to because I'm really not too much further than when I would normally stream. And so there is another bit of the lag um on it because again this whole time I've been talking with my hands and you can see that there are moments where my hands are just at my side so I would say that there is a little bit of delay but oh that right there 
that right there, just the fine motor has improved because it was really, really hard to do things like finger hearts and it were like pinching motions, right? So these motions, it took a lot to get them captured. Now, are those perfect finger hearts? No, <laughs> right? It's gonna take a while to find that sweet spot of where exactly the camera is being tracked. But again, that that in itself is a major improvement. I, I really, really enjoy that fact. So we are going to flip it over. Um, I am going to get this closer because it is going to type. Um, there is about a foot between me and my phone at the moment. Um, not even a full foot because again I I'm a blind man so where I had my phone previously was about as far out as my arm it was like my full uh, not not even my full arm extension um and to give you like an idea of how far that is I am about five six so not too far away right some something that that, that but again that's where I normally <laughs> Right, that's where I normally have it. So let's do um, testing hand tracking. Okay, so we are going to start stream. We're going to be in starting in the booth in the normal studio, which is what everybody uses. And then we will go and we will see how it looks. Oh, so even right now, so right, we brought it close so we could type. This hand tracking is not, there we go. Finally, we're registering, right? It's finally registering, but it's nowhere near where my hands are. <laughs> it's nowhere near where my hands are. So let's go back um, to where I would normally keep it in stream and see what this is looking like. So again, we're going to, there we go. One, two, buckle my shoe. Um, so right there in stream already, we can see a difference. Cause again, I put you back in the same location at the same angle. Hello, EB, right? So we didn't even have anybody in stream and already we were experiencing um, delay. And it is going to depend on your device. It is also going to depend on your internet um, because of how much bandwidth you have, right? How much input, how much output that you're putting on to your internet could also cause a lag. It also depends on the camera, right? If you have a newer phone, your phone is going to pick up those minute details a little bit more. My phone is about two years old, I would say. Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy Flip 4. So however those, how old those are. <laughs> I got it when they first came out. So if that gives you an idea. Now, again, since we started stream, the delay has been there a lot more, but I still have a lot of my fine motor going on. So I'm not too worried. Um, and again, I probably am not going to use hand tracking as much as a regular person, right? I'm going to like it from time to time. I'm going to use it more on my filming side, right? On my pre-record content than on my live content. Um, Hello, EB. Hello, folks. Hi, 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 everybody. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Um, hello, hello. <laughs> yes, you will be able to finally interact with the pets a little bit more. Oh, man. Yes, it is back. So for those of you who do not know, hand tracking did come around, right? Last April Fool's Day. That was the April Fool's Day. It is back for people who have A rank. So as soon as you hit A rank, you will unlock this feature. But if you lose A rank, the feature relocks. Now, if you're like, I'm not going to use this, I am A rank, you are able to turn off the feature. Now, it would normally pop up on the emote wheel. I don't have the emote wheel on, okay? Because I have it hidden because I like to, when I do videos, I don't like showing the emote picker so if you are like me and you don't want the emote picker to be shown you have to go into your settings go into next reality turn off the emote hider go in click hand tracking off and then go back and reselect to hide the um arashi i uh, yes my garlic rice has been but yeah so again i'm able to read chat fairly fine i am very blind <laughs> 
I'm very blind. Um, and I can read it at the distance that it's at. Again, it's in the same spot that I would normally stream in. I think if I do push it back a little bit more, I can still read chat. Um, it's just for me, not as comfortable, but I do get a little bit better tracking, right? So there is that. Now we, again, we're in a, the studio, we're in the booth, which has no, um, interactive pieces besides the likes that come in or the gifts. We are going to hop over into the rooms and I'm going to try out a different level of intensity rooms. Okay. Cause I have some rooms that have a bunch of emotes and a bunch of special effects in it so we're going to see if that also is going to be affecting the hand tracking right because we're going to be putting more input to our output okay so let's head over to the room and hopefully it's one of the very less intensive rooms <laughs> i hope we're not starting off okay so right now right away we are in a low intensity room. this room i am going to scoot it just so i can zoom and things like that um this is a very low intensity room there really isn't any special effects going on there is this one screen that changes um but otherwise it's just some toggles right it's some toggles now i'm going to let go of this pirouette because I can't emote while I'm holding this. This is a set emote. So I cannot do hand tracking while holding it. So we are going to see what the hand tracking is going to look like now that I have my hands free. Um, okay, so I am not picking up anything, right? It's not... Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got one, we got two. Again, I put you back into the regular spot. Now, this is a little bit harder because I wanna do a lot of movement while in the room. Uh, how do I do that? So this is a limited availability feature that you have to be A rank in order to receive. So there's the cat. EB was talking about petting Tiaomis, the bucket cat, the cat community manager of reality. So can I? get my hands low enough to pat the cat is the question eh. i want to pet the cat gonna gonna wanna pet the cat i want to pet the cat my hands are not even registering okay like it, it's not registering my hands all right so again we're gonna zoom in see if that helps a little bit but no, right? It's it's not really registering me. And it, because I do have to wave my hands a little bit more, it's then throwing off the tracking that is my face. All right? So we are going to go to, I didn't, I can't, I can't turn off the hand tracking through this. So again, if we head over to the booth, we'll hop back over to the booth, right? No, I can't though, because I don't have the emote picker. Evie, I don't have the emote picker on, so I can't just randomly turn it off by accident. No, no, Evie, you, you can't because it's not an option. No, it's on, as you see. It's there. No, Evie, I can't. I quite literally cannot. I made it so I don't have the feature to turn it off. <laughs> if you have the emote picker hidden you cannot turn off the hand tracking it auto goes on you have to go into your account turn the email picker back on so it's visible for you the streamer then you can turn it off no you can turn eb eb but you you can't no it's not an option yeah so how do you get hand tracker? It is an A rank feature. So you have to hit A rank. No, Evie, you can't. It's not an option. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 So no, you cannot. <laughs> Evie, you can't. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's not a it's not a choice. 
But as you see, even in the low intensity room, the tracking was much slower. So again, it might be different if we don't have the big input output that is going on in streaming, right? That's putting more pressure on your device and on your internet. All right. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. What is a rank? Okay, so ranks are dependent on how well you do in events, um, how many donators that you receive, those types of things. So you turn on your ranks and you will start collecting points for your day. Every person gets one point per day as long as they do their daily. They stream 15 minutes a day, okay? You get one point. You have to try to get 16 points. Yes. No, 18 points? Because, yeah, well, let's look. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 18, but you can check it on your profile. So all you do is click your profile and you see this thing called rank and you're just going to click the button and it will take you to how much you need. It's only 12. It's 12. You only need 12 points. So it's much lower than I thought. It's much lower than I thought. So you automatically get one point a day. So you need to get at least two points a day or more in order to rank up. Oh my goodness, I am frozen. Oh yeah. To maintain rank is 12. Ah, ah. Oh yeah. To rank up is 18. Okay, I've been stuck at my rank for a while. <laughs> I had been stuck in my rank for a while, so I kind of forgot. I thought it was 18 because you needed three days of six points in order to triple crown it, um, in order to get it. So that would make sense. Hello. So yeah, as you see, it's less points once you hit rank. It's not as hard to keep rank as it is to earn a rank. Okay. So um, I don't think there's anything else. Um, we were, oh, we were going to test a harder intensity room, but I don't think we really need to test a hard intense room if, um, the low intensity one didn't really track well, but we can go, we'll, we'll go to the moon room. We'll go to the outer space. Unless you have ah, ah, yeah. All right. So we are going to go to decorate. This is how you get to the next room slot. Um, and I believe three is the high intense room. Yes, this is number three. Um, this room has many, many items. Again, this is a set emo, so I won't be able to use the hand tracking with it. All right, so we're going to go put this down. Put it down. Thank you. And we are going to go engage in the Night Star, which is an emo that flies as well as has additional. Okay. So I, we're not going, we're, we're not going to look at the fact that the skirt glitches. Okay. Cause I'm, it's a pencil skirt and that makes sense. All right. So again, oh, my hands are responding. They are moving, but they're not going high enough. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. There we go. So the hand tracking is working a little bit. Again, um, we're about arm's length away from the phone. So again, I can still read comments. I can still react. I do have to be very m purposeful with my movement in order to get the hand tracking to really read how I want it instead of just me casually talking with my hands. Um, so this is my review of it. I will try to find um, my video of the hand tracking from April Fools last year, but as somebody who did use it in April last year and then I am using it now, um, there are some big differences and there have been some major improvements. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Mwah!